Welcome back to Restore Thrive. Double D, Dr. Tim. Today we're gonna cover the horizontal push or bench press. We're gonna talk about setup, we're gonna talk about execution, we're gonna talk about common faults. Tim, have a seat on the bench. What we wanna do is make sure that Tim's setup is correct before he ever even puts his hands on the bar. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna maintain good foot position. Feet are in his athletic position, even when sitting down. So his knees are over his mid-steps and his toes are pointed forwards. Tim's gonna be nice and tall, dead bug spine, and he's gonna lay down on the bench. When Tim lays down, I want the bar to be directly at his eyes. Nice, long, dead bug spine. Feet in contact with the floor. If you bring your foot underneath your knee and be able to push down into the floor, that's gonna be your strong base of support. From here, pushing down into the floor, what I want Tim to do is I want him to anteriorly tilt his pelvis and push his shoulder blades onto the bench. This is gonna give him a nice, strong, stable platform to push from. From here, he's gonna make sure that his rib cage comes back down. Nice, long, dead bug spine. Tim, Frankenstein arm straight up from the shoulder. That's gonna be your width. He's gonna wrap his hands around the bar, closing the kinetic chain with his thumb, to make sure that he maintains torque throughout the lift. Tim's going to push off, bring it directly over his sternum. This is the first fault that we see. Lots of lifters like to bring it up toward their eyes in an elliptical type of path. Here, we want straight up and down. So it's gonna come directly down to his sternum. As Tim is ready, I'm gonna ask him to bend the bar down in half to set his shoulders with some torque. He's gonna to pull the bar down to his chest, right on his sternum, and fire directly up into my finger to complete the rep. If it feels like you're pushing down towards your belly button, that's okay. You're literally pushing straight up in the air. Pull it down to your chest, drop right back up. Good, breathe in on the way down, out on the way up, good. The rattle you hear when Tim completes his rep is what we're looking for. That is when the set is complete, the plate is going to rattle within the casing. It means that he's producing good force. Hold the bar down, push back up. Good, please take it back to the rack and relax your hands. Other faults that we're gonna see have to do with him lifting up his hips higher on the bench, trying to drive out, him coming down and curling his trunk forward, or any deviations with his head. All of that is gonna result in a deviation from dead bug spine and therefore allow you to bleed out force, not put it into the barbell. Other faults you will see have to do with the feet. If your feet start to move or kick or come together, you're trying to find a good powerful position to push from. So please, at the beginning of your set, set up your feet in your athletic position and go from there. Any other deviations that you'd like to cover? Right on. If you guys have any questions, please hit us up at restorethrive.com, comment below. Thank you much.